Okay, so you want an animated model for Unity. Let's go ahead and open up Blender. It's powerful, it's free. By default, it's gonna spit you out this cube. Um, now the community is really split on whether or not it's moral to delete this cube. Uh, just in case it has emotions, I'm just gonna move it uh, by its lonesome over there and uh, it'll never know what true love is. All right, so I went ahead and made this mushroom model because that's what it is. So I'll quickly show you how I did that. Shift A, mesh, cylinder, tab to go to edit mode. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Alt select this edge here, it's gonna give us this ring of vertices, E to extrude, right click, S to scale, E, and then Z to lock it in the Z axis if you need to, S to scale, E, S, and just repeat that a few times until you get the uh, desired shape. Okay, and then at the end, uh, hit X to delete this face here, and then Alt select again to get that ring, and hit Alt M, and it's gonna merge that. So uh, we need more vertices in the shaft area because we're going to be animating this. Uh, so hit Control R and then scroll up. Left click, right click, and great. And then object mode. Lastly, we right click and hit Shade Smooth. And there we go. Now, obviously size doesn't matter, uh, but obviously we're gonna prefer this one. Uh, so let's just use this one. So next we want to start animating, uh, but before we can do that, we need to add a rig or a skeleton uh, to our model here. So go ahead and shift A, we're going to go to armature. Now we can't see this armature, it's actually hidden behind the um, mushroom, of course. Um, so as you can see, so while we're working on it, it might be convenient to go to uh, object data properties, click in front, and now you can see it. Okay, so select it, hit tab to go to edit mode. We're gonna hit E to extrude it and then Z to lock it. All right, and that looks all right. And tab to go back to object mode. We're gonna select the mushroom, shift select the armature, hit control P and go to uh, automatic weights here. This is gonna parent the mushroom to the armature as you can see um, over here. And also, if you go to pose mode, you can see that this is working. Now, if this makes you uncomfortable, um, it really shouldn't because it's a mushroom. Okay, we're gonna go to the animation tab up here and I'm gonna open up the action editor and we're gonna create uh, the wiggle animation. I'm gonna hit A and then I uh, to get this location rotation scale keyframe of all these bones at that zeroth frame. I'm going to go to another frame and we're going to move it around a little bit. Just going to move all these bones by selecting them and hitting R and just moving the mouse. I'm going to hit A to select all of the bones. I, loc rote scale again. And now we have that transition between the key points, the keyframes. Now we're going to do that for the other side as well. Uh, we don't want to be a left-leaning Larry. Okay. So there we go. And lastly, I'm going to shift D to duplicate those keyframes or that keyframe and uh, move it there and make sure your end frame displays 25 uh, like I have it here and it should loop fine here. Um, so now, uh, I'd recommend a water break, um, so I'm going to do that. That's good water. Okay, so now we're going to export this into Unity. Um, so let's stop this fella right here. And, uh, real quick, I want to rename this bone. Uh, by pressing F2, I'm going to name it to root, it's just kind of a good convention to do. Now normally, uh, a good idea before you export into Unity, or anything else for that matter, is to uh, go to object mode, select your object, hit Control A, and go to all transforms. This is going to ensure that everything is uh, kind of reset, you know, the scale's at 1, rotation's at 0 and uh, Unity is probably gonna like that a little better. So now I'm gonna select both of these with Shift Select. Go to File, Export, 
FBX. Now, Unity does take blend files natively, uh, but this is my workflow. I have a preset for all these settings here uh, that I will uh, place an image of in the description below. And we want to make sure we click Selected Objects so it only exports what we've selected and not anything we haven't selected. Okay, and uh, choose a good file location, uh, name it appropriately. All right, so go ahead and open up Unity now. Now, obviously your default uh, Unity scene won't look like this. This is uh, a scene I'm working on for my game, uh, but we can just drag that. Um, so that's definitely the scale we intended. So let's proceed, um, click on this. Uh, go to Rig and create uh, from this model. Uh, I need more water. All right. Uh, set the root node to be the root bone that we set up. Hit Apply. Let's go to Animation. And we want to make sure that loop time is checked because we want this animation to loop. And hit Apply. And that's exactly how it should look, uh, but this model shouldn't be animating yet. And that's because we haven't configured the animator controller. So uh, let's go ahead and come down here, right click, create animator controller. And I'm, we're going to name this something. Okay, double click that. I'm going to right click here create state empty i'm going to name this wiggle i'm going to click this lock button up here and it's just going to lock this in the inspector uh, just so if i click anything else it's not going to go away uh, click this arrow now and we're going to move this armature into that so now if we go up here to definitely a mushroom and unclick that lock icon uh, we just need to Add this animator controller there, turn off root motion, um, although that would be interesting, and uh, click play. And ideally, it becomes alive. Uh, fantastic. Okay, and if you go to animator, you see that that um, is looping as we want. Okay, let's actually maximize this for full effect here. So as you can see, this is um, uh, this is successful. This is exactly what we want, and um, I wonder if this uh, video will get taken down. Uh, so let's go Control Shift N. Uh, let's go to incognito mode. All right, and it looks like in YouTube's TOS, uh, it says we cannot post content that depicts genitals, breasts buttocks for the purpose of sexual gratification. Uh, so what that means is if you don't touch yourself to this video, um, I can still have this video up. Thanks for watching.